Welcome back to Operation First Line. It's a UFO landing site in Canada. This is a landed m m m m m medium. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I'm starting to double double check myself now because that that thumbnail doesn't look like. Oh no! This is the Forest of Souls. Okay. It says it's daytime, but that's a lie. This is nighttime, and this is going to be nasty, and it's going to be. Oh, this map is horrible. This is a horrible map. I haven't seen this map for like 50 years. But this is a horrible map. We're going to get down here on this horrible map in Operation First Line. And, and oh, this is just going to be terrible. Don't, don't, don't look. Close your eyes. This is Big Sky. We're in position near the enemy LZ. Strike one is ready to move on your orders. I read you, Big Sky. This was a landing, not a crash. So expect heavy resistance. Somebody call for an exterminator. Nah, nah, just kidding. No, that, that's not really. That's not really what. I'm not really a ghost. Hang on. All right, so there we go. That's that's probably the right color now. So now that we fixed that bug, welcome. Uh, this is what I like to call uh, any number of different names from the Forest of Souls to the uh, collection of trees of inequity and, and injustice. Really, the point is, this map uh, has a lot of bad memories for me. Um, You've got a giant desert road in the middle, little desert road, little uh, like river gully in the middle. On the left and right, you've got two separated areas of reasonable amounts of cover of trees, uh, but they've each got their own little uh, pros and cons. Me, myself, I tend to prefer going across the gully, getting into the cover on the left. I find it more reliable. Uh, it leads you to high ground, eventually high ground, usually being good. So what we're probably going to do here is leapfrog to the left, throg, leapfrog to the left uh, with my troops, uh, with my move limited guys covering as we move. Once we've taken the left, push up from there, watching out for contact the entire time, and just uh, trying to come from this left side. If we take too much contact on the right, the mechs can always run over as a quick reaction force, take that right side back so we don't get flanked. Uh, both sides of this map, I find, are pretty, uh, pretty can get flanked pretty reliably if you don't control both sides, so that's not an issue if the enemy is straight in front of you, but if the enemy spawns to your side, then you need to watch that flank, and that's where trouble really comes from on this map, I feel. If you just have a frontal fight, you're generally okay unless you're against overwhelming firepower, so we're gonna go left, try not to get flanked, and try to just push this one out. Let's hubba 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 hustle here. Moving out. Enemies inside. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six drones. All right. Now I just realized something. Hang on. First, I've demanded some drones, but first I just realized I need to check if my mic is boosted. Nope. Okay, we're good. I sometimes I gotta check that. Otherwise, you know, it's like, well, your mic track for that entire episode is screwed, and I hadn't checked this time. Anyway, sorry. Onto the gameplay, which you're here, not for the technical behind the scenes. Uh, I have a bunch of drones to kill. Affirmativo. When don't I really? Now it's varied, no in the zone, but it is varied. Um, would be nice if I could just mine them all, but that's not going to happen. I can mine a couple though, and I'm with 10 mines, that's more than good enough to me. Get some of these annoying drones out of the way. What a little swarm of drones! Where do these guys come from? Let's get everybody else into position if we can. Even got a few of them in range, that's good. Instinct up. On the move. What else are we dealing with here? No snapshots, you can't move. Position confirmed. Move here. Fin down. If you're varied. No snapshot, of course. Jive up. And stole Alright. Let's do what we came to do. You know, kill drones. That's what we came on this mission for. Had to kill drones. Ah, so by Jive being here, I've blocked. I've blocked, uh, Kamikaze. That's a bit unfortunate. We'll go ahead and move Jive. I need Kamikaze engaging more. Go ahead and take that one out if you can. Nice. Could have danger zoned them all actually, but yeah, they're probably going to run it anyway. Probably would have been wise to use danger zone. I don't find myself using heat danger zone a lot. I've got to get in the ha habit of using it. 
Steady your aim. Take a shot. Nice. Two down already. But another two probably gonna pop from that mine. Enemy unit eliminated. Holding. And we're gonna chill on this last ally cannon here. Two down, and we got two left. Easy targets. It's what they're baiting me towards that could be the issue. Okay, now they're going to my right. Could that mean there's aliens on the right side? Often wounded survivors who are scared will run to friendly aliens, but in this sense the drones just seem scattered and not at all in a good way. Okay, hold your fire van door, we might not need you. Well, we might we might at that rate, hang on. Let's just take care of all this contact before we move on. That's better. Target disabled. Move up kamikaze. Go. Dealt with. So that's all the drones down. Easy peasy. We'll continue to go with what I was doing, which is moving across to the other side. That's affirmative. Moving out. Bonuses. Now we do it with a sizable amount of enemy forces destroyed, which is good. I feel commander. It's good when the enemy die. I feel bad, you know, sometimes sometimes people are like, oh John Men John Men and all these stupid quotes he makes, you know, what a you know, what foolish commentary. It's just sometimes that's what you say as a play-by-play -play commentary style. It's like, like I just said, you know, the enemies are dead. That's good. It's good that we killed the enemies. To win football, you take your football to the end zone, you know? It's not man it's not Madden's fault. Sometimes you just you just say stuff. Affirmative command. And now we will advance towards the UFO because that's how to win the mission. Okay. I'm on the move. Heading to that location. Yeah, right, let's keep it coming, gang. On my way. Looking good, looking good. Some shocking, uh, depressing news lately. XCOM 2 uh, delayed from November uh, release date till February 2016 now. Very sad. Um, very sad, in my opinion, that I won't get to play it for another couple months. But still, uh, like I said on Twitter, it's worth the wait. I don't think it's much better to be a company that is, uh, you know, professional enough, a company developer and publisher combo of Fraxis and UK, professional enough to understand that if a game needs more time, you give it more time. You don't rush it out to meet a release date. You give the game the quality it deserves. So it's really good to honestly, like, as I'm sad that I won't get to play the game for longer, but I'm really glad that, uh, you know, they're delaying it rather than rushing it out. But, you know, I feel kind of silly saying that because, I mean, it's Fraxis and it's, it's you know, I, you, what else would you expect from them, you know? Moving out. That's just who they are. I'm not going to rush it out and have it be shit. Avanzo la posizione. Uh, by this time, Jake Solomon has done a uh, panel at PAX talking about new info for the XCOM game, actually, for XCOM 2. I really want to know uh, what it all is. I've heard some of it, like, uh, apparently, uh, and this is just what I've heard secondhand, okay. but apparently now you can export soldiers, like, you can customize a soldier, Order confirmed. and then you can export them, right? Uh, and then you can export them as, like, scientists, engineers, soldiers, uh, antagonists, VIPs, so not just your own troops roster, but also apparently, as you know, you could customize someone and they could show up as a customized VIP in a mission randomly, or they could customize, show up as a bad guy apparently, or like, you know, so it's not just, and also it's just great from the roster standpoint because you're going to customize your troops and then have them randomly show up, and instead of just being a name, you can actually customize this whole character, like, you know, you can have Abraham Lincoln and give him, you know, his top hat and his beard, and the name, and then when Abraham Lincoln randomly shows up, it's not just pulling Abraham Lincoln's name out of a name list, it's actually that guy showing up with all the customization options, so... That's pretty damn rad, if you ask me. I hope there's like different lists, I, I, I'm sure there's different lists, so like... 
you can customize it so you have a VIP list, so you can like you can put on American presidents as all your <laughs> VIPs. So you can randomly be rescuing like uh, Bill Clinton, George Washington. It'd be pretty great. I'm on my way. Beagle, why did you pick those two specifically? They're, those are the most famous presidents to me as a non-American who grew up uh, in the 90s, I guess. <laughs> and Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> those are the three. On my way. Bill Clinton gets in there. Press up, Commander. Affirmative, Commander. I'm on it, Commander. Grew up in the 90s. Bill Clinton's my guy. Affirmative, Commander. Position bestätigt. I'm over. Sectors on the left. I don't think we're alone out here. Will it be a pure sectoid pod or will it be mectoids? Ooh, I hear more than just sectors over there, I think. I'd like to get a scan on that if we could get Stolly up front. Stolly, my beautiful sweetheart, there you are. We're gonna have to clear the way for Stolly so she can get up there and scan. On the move. This shouldn't reveal if it does. Stolly would have revealed anyway. Not we're good. Hubba hubba hubba, let's go. Mwabba, mwah. Okay, let's go, Stoli. I want you to chuck a scan over here and I want you to reveal... Ooh, a door just went down. I want you to reveal what we're dealing with. Yeah, yep. Oh, ho, 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 is that right? Exalt, huh? Now that is interesting. So it looks like we've got a mectoid and a sectoid and four exalt. That's an interesting pod. Tell you what. Heading there now. We don't want to set a mine uh, that will go off this turn just yet, but we do want to get in position uh, to be ready uh, to gun these guys down. That's affirmative. I'm on it, Commander. So if we can set a mine, like, on the right flank where they might eventually go, it's unlikely that they'll move that far and set it up this turn. If they do all oh well, I'll take it. More likely it'll combo into a good move next turn. But we'll see. I want a second scan on the right to confirm what enemies are on the right. If we're clear. I can whack these guys next turn. Okay. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what. Beegs knows his shit, doesn't he? Doesn't that Beegs guy know his shit? Right. Right. Fucking want him. Although I've forgotten. Where is that other mine now? Obviously. Yeah, it's right on the edge. Oh my god. How did that not go off? Okay, so... We're going to set off a double whammy here. This mine should uh, cascade across this entire squad uh, as they do this activation move. That was a little bit too close, I think, Beegs. So this should be a good little ambush. What should happen is the front sectoid should move. They should walk into the frontal mine, then the rear claymore catches them in the blast. Move right. Chuck a scanner over here. A, to make sure that detonation goes off. B, I want to see what we're dealing with on the right. Up it goes. Okay, how clear are we to whack these guys? Give me a sit rep, strike one. Looks pretty clear, actually. So we want to prepare ourselves to whack these guys. Okay, don't have to walk into that zone there. You want to bring volatile around. Position confirmed. Uh, okay, we're good. We want to be careful not to activate here, obviously. Shouldn't need to say that twice. Let's get jive aye, aye, up here. I'm Instinct ready. Kamikaze ready. 
Oh, Varid spotted me a target I didn't even see before. So we've got the outsider over there. I didn't even see that. Didn't even see that guy. Okay, so we've got the outsider over there. That's fine. Keep him there. Boy. We're going to bring Varid back and prep him to ambush these guys. Gonna get position. Dawn in position as well. This should be a bang. Oh, please don't move. That would make my day. Oh, never mind. <laughs> that also makes my day. So that's what we call a fun little ambush. Here in XCOM Nam. Oh, that is nice. That's tight. Oh, that's nice. That's hot. That's good. I like that. Who's got eyes on now? Nobody's got eyes on. We we'll want to deal with that uh, mechtoid first. First, uh, first and foremost. So we'll go ahead and handle his Overwatch. He's gonna die this turn anyway, but this lets me move and engage. Van Dorn might have been able to do that for me too, actually. No, Van Dorn's got no targets. Van Dorn can only see the distant ones and he can't engage them. So now, we'll go ahead and engage. Engage, engage. Move up to here. That's affirmative. We are visual on all targets. Confirm, Mechtoid does not have lock and load, so Mechtoid's an easy target. Those guys are going to go down. Let's get instinct up here and let's just mop this up, guys. Mop up this little ambush. X -ray down. Gruesome. Destroyed. Got him. You did get him. Moving. Nailed him. Absolutely annihilated. Shh. Just dreams now, Mechtoid Exalt Pod. Shh. Mechtoid Exalt Pod just struggling. Just, just one nice slit to the throat there with the uh, metaphorical, metaphorical dagger that is the proxy mine ambush. Shh. Right, let's get Van Dorn up in position. Well done, everyone. Okay. I don't know where next contact's gonna come from, but I'm gonna start pre mining the area for potential patrols. Prioritize the highest cover, like those tree trunks. Make sure they blow up when enemies move into them. We're out of battle scans now. I hear contact on the left. So we'll continue to move in. Now we know the outsiders are on the left there. So we'll either want to do a counterclockwise sweep or want to set up a bunch of mines here, which is also possible. Yeah, I can do a mine setup. Hang on. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Don't cross that line. Come down here. We're going to set up mines on the outsiders. Go from there. Want you to cross left. Okay. Ah, shit. Well, you get that. There goes some of their cover, though, so. Turns out that mine was there for a good reason. We're just gonna take him out this turn, then. Such as it is. Ooh, Vendorn. Shot Bad to work. Take this target. Thought for sure I'd be okay, but turns out I was wrong. It should be alright though. Okay, let's get Jive up. I'm on the move. Uh, let's get Stoli up. Kamikaze. Instincts ready to run and gun, which we may just need in a second. All right. Now who do we want here? 
Stole with a grenade, take that guy's cover out. Not a problem, y'all. Not a problem. Give me a rifle. Hmm. Dawn on the next target. There you go. Right, 90s, 100 will be fine with a flush with a gauss on a shred. He is dead as hell. Okay, easy does it, gang. This day just keeps going easy today. Fair it up. Let's go. This is what happens when you're using a squad that isn't five corporal snipers or three corporal snipers. Locked and, loaded. and you fight like drones and exalt. Also, proxy mines are the best. So we got toy thin man pod inside the UFO. I think I heard something. Strike one, reform the line. Enter through left door. Breach clockwise. Take the central room, then move on to the right side. Get that power source. Confirm. Heading there now. Aye aye, Commander. Mister Movendo. Alright guys, let's go! Hustle, hustle, hustle! Moving out! Affirmative, moving out! De acuerdo! Guardia confirmado! Weapon systems ready! We're gonna do these old uh, Beta 14 UFO clears manual. Beta 15, playing on my Twitch stream every uh, Tuesday, Thursday, I got those new motion trackers. Makes finding intel in these UFOs a lot easier. Beta 14, we're gonna do these things manual. I think we got them moving into the frontal foyer by the sound of it. Get yourselves ready for frontal foyer action. I'm on it, Commander. I'm on my way. Ich mach mich auf. Heading out. Ich mach mich los. Reloaded. Ready. 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 Reload that pistol. And you're ready. Okay, let's do this. The time the strike is now before they leave. Strike now in the middle of the alien turn. Oh. That also could happen. Okay, we need to get some people acided here, unfortunately. Oh, thank god. Please don't kill any of them while they're on top of my squad. Just wait. I'll kill them this coming turn. Don't ask at me. Perfect! Yes! Run away from me. This is this is the best. Everything, everything is going well. Proxy mine, please. Let's go. Okay, these two can pop. Mina in posizione. Attenzione. Gee in position. Let's wrap this one up nice and quick, ladies and germs. What do you think? Nendas. No time for thin bodies. Ah, I hate when that happens. What? I hate when that happens when only one damage source actually does damage. Freaking annoying. Move in. Aye, aye, Commander. Bye bye. Yeah, you can probably pick that guy off on your side. But why don't you find out if you can before you go getting all excited? Your shot varied, cover your own flank. Easy, right to the dome. There's nothing as satisfying as the Gauss long rifle. I'm telling you. Alright, hollow. It's fine. Negative damage. Don't worry about those two. Just keep taking that guy down. These two, leave these two to me. Pretty dead.
Okay, shot. Destroyed, and his little log too, in case that wasn't enough damage. Alright, now these two are dead. Now where is that sectoid? Yeah, do the fire first. Killing Don't watch your asses. Fire. Where is little old sectoid up in here? I'm rolling. I didn't see where he ran to. There he is, okay. In All yours, Kamikaze. Ooh. Chuck up another one. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, lads. Easy peasy. Outstanding. Not only did our troops return safely, but the meld they recovered will certainly advance our development of new technologies based on this substance. So a nice, simple, clean sweep there. Volatile Bullfrog up to Master Sergeant, which is excellent. Means I can pick up that uh, Rapido Fyro, which is going to be great for the shoot, uh, shredder, and then rapid fire a second target, or sh rapid fire the same target. Uh, it's very versatile. I love it. I, I'm sure I've talked about it before, but let me talk about it again. I just love it. I love that these guys are both great at holding a position because they're tanky uh, and they've got repair servers, damage control, absorption fields, body shield. They can hold a position uh, and fire three times, or they can be your shock troops. You can move up, still fire twice with rapid fire, um, and, you know, really take a point. So I really love these guys. I really love these Valkyries in Beta 14. They're very versatile, I feel, especially with the Shredder. The Shredder makes them, you know, synergize with the rest of the squad. Uh, and with themselves, and that's really what makes it great. So they're great, uh, and then we're just leveling up uh, Kamikaze over here. Probably going to be some extra conditioning from him, uh, which is one of the best perks ever made, I swear to God. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll be extra con for him. 34 Illyrium, 38 Alloys. Whole bunch of stuff from that. Very nice, very nice indeed.